My name is Stephen Hamilton. I am a consultant orthopaedic surgeon here at BMI Albany. The Mako robotic arm surgery is, is a huge technological advance in orthopaedic surgery. So the benefits of the robotic arm surgery to the patients are reduced length of stay compared to conventional joint replacement. That's been shown. They're in less pain afterwards. They've been shown to use less analgesia. And early functional outcome is, is better. People do have this preconceived idea of a robot as in some kind of tin man walking into a room and we're controlling it with a remote control, but it's not like that at all. It's a robotic arm that just cuts where we have decided that that's where it's going to cut. Yeah, we're always in control. I'm Mr. Robert Duthie, consultant and orthopaedic surgeon, and I've been working at BMI Albine Hospital for 18 years now. Robotic arm surgery will transform the way hip and knee replacements are done in the future. Conventional surgery is planned based on x-rays. These can be inaccurate and often during surgery the surgeon has to change the size of the prosthesis that was planned to be put in or the position of the prosthesis depending on the patient's anatomy. Robotic assisted surgery is based on a preoperative CT scan which accurately maps the individual's patient's anatomy. During the procedure, trackers are placed on the patient and this allows the robotic arm to know exactly where the patient's bony landmarks are. This will then allow the accurate positioning of the components to within a millimetre of the desired position. My name is Martin Mitchell. I'm a consultant orthopaedic surgeon at BMI Albine in Aberdeen. So, in my opinion, the robotic arm system is a game changer in um, arthroplasty surgery. One of the key advantages is that it allows us to place our implants and perform the cuts necessary with far more accuracy and confidence that we were able to do before. But allied to that, we're still able to use implants that have a very tried and tested, excellent track record. There's no experimentation involved in the system. It's simply performing the operation that we have been performing very successfully for many years, but with far more accuracy. As surgeons, we often think about when new advances do come along, whether we would consider using them on family members or ourselves if we had the option to. And I think my thoughts on this are absolutely yes. Why, why would you not use this technology when it has quite clear, um, obvious benefits for the patient both in the short term and the potential long term survivorship of their implants? So it's an, it's an absolute um, game changer as far as I'm concerned for, in terms of the benefits for the patients.